This talk is about critical flow condition in open channels. In open channel flow, critical flow condition correspond to a singularity of the flow motion. At critical flow, the water depth on cross-sectional at average velocity are solely function of the water discharge on cross-sectional shape. Historically, the notion of critical flow was introduced as a singularity of the backwater equation. But the modern approach follows the definition of Boris Bagmetev, namely, critical flow occurs when the specific energy is minimum. Examples of such flow situation leading to minimum specific energy include a spillway crest, an overflow gate, or a channel contraction leading to choking, for example, a barrel in the cul of a culvert at design flow. This photograph illustrates the crest of a lateral spillway in France. For a channel with a flat invert, and in presence of a hydrostatic pressure distribution, the specific energy may be expressed as E specific energy equal D plus V square over 2G. For a rectangular channel, we can then introduce the continuity equation, and then we can obtain an expression of the specific energy in which the velocity is replaced by a function of the water discharge, channel width P, on water depth. D. For a constant water discharge, the specific energy is minimum when the variation with water depth of the specific energy for a constant discharge equals zero. For a flat or rectangular channel with hydrostatic pressure distributions, the minimum specific energy takes place when the water depth, the critical flow depth DC equal cubic root of Q square over G B square. Let us consider now an irregular cross-sectional channel. The free surface width is denoted B on the cross-section area is denoted A. The specific energy, again, is minimum when the variation with the water depth of the specific energy for a constant discharge equals zero. And for a flat channel with hydrostatic pressure distribution, we may transform the specific energy on the critical flow definition give an expression of 1 minus Q square over G A cube over B equals 0. Since the variation in cross-section area with the water depth is equal to B, the free surface width. This condition, 1 minus Q square over G A cube over B, is valid for any cross-sectional shape, including a rectangular channel. So water depth for which the corresponding cross-section area on free surface width fulfills these conditions, is the critical depth. In most general situations, it is solved by trial and error. When the pressure distribution is not hydrostatic and the velocity distribution is not uniform, for example at a spill request, as illustrated here with this example of pressure on velocity above a circular crest, the minimum specific energy condition yield a relationship between the ratio of critical depth to minimum specific energy in the form of a third degree polynomial function. For a two-dimensional flow with a unit discharge small q, the critical flow depth is the solution of this third degree polynomial expression shown here, in which Cd is a dimensionless discharge coefficient, lambda is a pressure correction coefficient, and beta is a velocity correction coefficient. The polynomial equation of degree 3 has three solutions sketched below, in the form of the dimensionless critical depth vertical axis, as a function of the dimensionless discharge horizontal axis. On this graph, the analytical solution are compared with some experimental data. The above result is applied to critical flow, flow situation in non-hydrostatic pressure distribution. Such ideal fluid results may be applied to short transitions of real fluid to a satisfactory degree of approximation, but they cannot be applied to long waterways when boundary friction becomes significant. Critical flow condition may also be observed in a sharp channel contraction, leading to an increase in unit discharge. For a flat 
rectangular channel with hydrostatic pressure. The differentiation of the Bernoulli equation gives this expression, linking the variation with distance of the water depth with the variation with distance of the channel with B. With a subcritical inflow, a channel contraction yields an increase in water depth, and critical flow conditions occur when the channel contraction is severe. The characteristic channel width, B min, for which critical flow conditions occur, may be deduced from the Bernoulli equation. The concept of critical flow in open channels is one of the most important concepts in hydraulic engineering with many practical applications. In open channel flow, the critical flow condition corresponds to a singularity of the flow motion. At critical flow, the water depth on cross sectional at average velocity are solely function of the water discharge on cross sectional shape. A basic understanding of open channel hydraulic engineering is most relevant in many real world applications related to water security and flood protection. Cess are discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same playlist.